Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm Sushma and welcome to my channel, The V Vibe. If you can't say, I'm so excited to be making this video because in this video, I'll be showing off a few life hacks which I've learned recently and also in the past time. And some of the hacks, I've not even tried it myself, so I'll be trying it out with you guys today in this video. So without wasting any time, let's just dive into it. <laughs> Do you hate shopping for pants? Well, I did, not anymore. I know it can be so exhausting trying to find the right size for your pants in different brands and also getting rid of your shoes, getting rid of your pants and then trying your pants on if, and if it doesn't fit, getting rid of it only to try another pair. That is the reason this is one of my favorite fashion hacks and with this, you can skip all your dressing room drama and see if the pant fits you even without trying them on. If you want to try to see if the pan fits you, just hold the corners of the pan and pull it on your neck from behind like a cape and try to bring the corners of the pan together and if it just about touches, it just means that the pan is the right fit for you, it's going to fit you properly and when you do the same thing, if uh, the pan, the corners of the pan won't meet or if you're trying hard to bring them together it means that the pant is going to be tight on you so that is not going to fit you properly and similarly when you bring the pants corner of the pants together and if they overlap if they cross each other that means that the pant is going to be a bit loose on you so even that is not a proper fit for you and i think this hack is really great and next time you're out shopping make sure to try it out because this is such a lifesaver So if you have a pair of jeans that won't fit, if it's either tight or loose, then fear not because presenting drum rolls, <laughs> Miss Elastic for your rescue. So first, let us see how to use the hair elastic on a tight pan. So here I'm using the same pan from before, which when I put it around my neck, the corners wouldn't meet. I can still try to button it up, but you know, it is very tight and it's not comfortable at all. And I can't breathe if I just button it. So all you have to do is just take a hair elastic and try to match it with your pan color so that you don't have to hide it later. So take the hair elastic and wrap it around the pant button and wrap it back from the other side. And now take the hair elastic and put it through the buttonhole from inside and pull it back from the out and then secure it on the button again and this actually secures it very well and it won't come off at all and if you want to hide it just put a belt or cover it with your blouse or something to tighten a loose pant all you have to do is take a hair elastic and knot it on your button like you did before and then take the elastic and pull it through your button loop from inside and drag this hair elastic to your closest belt loop and then pull it from over and then take it closer to the button loop and then bring it to the button and then secure your button with the elastic and now all you have to do is you have to just button up your pant like you always do and i think this actually secures the pant really well and then you don't even need the belt to secure your pant I, and i absolutely love this i think it looks great and this next tag if it works out i'll be the greatest fan of it recently i actually read somewhere that if you don't have time to iron your clothes or if you don't have an iron which is working all you have to do is throw in your wrinkled clothes into your dryer and throw in some three to four ice cubes in there and then spin it for about 15 minutes one five yes that's true i mean i don't know if it's true because i'll be trying it out straight away and if it works out how great is it you don't have to waste time just iron sitting there and ironing your clothes or something just put it into the dryer and do any Anything for 15 minutes and get back to an amazing ironed newly looking <laughs> dress or whatever but let's go find a wrinkled cloth right away and see if that works out I literally broke a sweat trying to find a wrinkled dress. I mean, whenever I have to go out, all I find is wrinkled stupid dresses, but now everything is clean and nice. And finally, after looking for five minutes, I found this absolute wrinkled dress, which I'll be throwing, to dry, throwing in with a dryer and with some ice cubes. And oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this dress into the dryer straight away and then gonna bring in four ice cubes and just throw it into the dryer and all we have to do is just start the dryer and <laughs> see the miracle happen in 15 minutes so I'm just gonna close it off and just turn it on and just 
wait for 15 minutes and let's see what happens i'm so excited i just got the dress out of the dryer and oh my god guys you won't believe it i mean just look at the dress there is not even one wrinkle on it and even if i ironed it myself i couldn't do it this well so it's settled going forward i'm never ironing my dress all i'm doing is letting the dryer take care of it oh my god i'm really excited and i love this hack so do you have a practice of hanging your sweaters in your closet? Well, I used to do it a lot before and I recently learned that that is not a good habit because, uh, you know, gravity wears your sweater down. So whenever you hang it, it kind of pulls in the weight towards the bottom of the sweater and it will misshape in your sweater and it, it will get loose on your shoulders. So if you have hanged your sweater for a long time and then wear it back and if you feel like it's a bit loose on your shoulders, I'm sorry to break it down, but you have not lost weight because that is exactly what I used to think. I'm like, oh my God, I've lost uh, weight and that's the reason it's like dropping off, but it's not, it's the gravity which is playing games with us. So instead of hanging out your sweater or sweater dresses from next time, just take them off the hanger and fold them up real nice and all you have to do is just tag them on top of each other to preserve its shape and maintain its structure okay for this one if you want to keep your sleeve in place if you want to pull up your sleeve and you want it to stay there i mean yeah you could do that but if you're a person like me i talk like this and i do i literally move my hand a lot and it literally comes back to the place so um what you can do is you can again use this hair elastic all you have to do is just take it and put it on top of your sleeve like so and then start pulling out your sleeve and then cover your elastic band with that just like this and that is it. I mean, if you want it to be much shorter, just put the elastic on top here and start again pulling the sleeve and cover the elastic with your sleeve. And that's it. It just sticks there in the place and won't even fall out no matter how much ever you talk like that or how much ever you move your hands. And I think it's very handy and it works on all sort of sleeves. It can be could be any of your fancy dresses sleeve or it can be your short sleeves. Just put an elastic and make it make those sleeves stick into a place. So whenever you are shopping and trying out your dresses in the trial room, always make sure to try out the dress by sitting as well because you know when you're standing and trying out your dress it looks nice and fine but it should be comfortable when you're sitting as well and that is the exact reason we have seats in the trial rooms not because you have loads of stuff and you'll get tired after trying out so many and you have to rest not for that it's there for you to try the dress out even when you're sitting so that it's comfortable enough and you can buy the dress knowing that it's total comfort when you're standing and sitting as well and the last one I have for today is whenever you're washing your sweaters, your pants, your t-shirts which has a graphic design or anything which has a design and I would just say whenever you're washing anything just wash it inside out and also um, in the washing machine settings always set it to wash in cold water especially for jeans and sweaters and anything with a design always wash it in cold water and set it to low spin cycle. So this is how I usually wash any dress which I love a lot. I usually set it in easy care, usually in 40 or 30. And when it comes to the spin cycle, I usually keep it to the bare minimum. I usually go with 600, but sometimes I even go with 800. So that's a wrap. I'm hoping to dig in more and get in some more hacks and share with you guys. So try all these out and let me know which one you like the best. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Until then, bye bye bye.